So streaming Gran Turismo 7 on PSVR 2, the spectator screen doesn't give that much information to the viewer to see what's going on. So following on from my previous Sim Hub videos, which I'll leave a link to in the corner up in the top, I thought I'd put together my own custom GT7 Sim Hub dashboard, which collects all of the available telemetry data and puts it on a dashboard that you can either use as a separate screen for 2D racing or if you're a content creator you can use it on your stream and in my case this is what I've started to use for my PSVR 2 streams for GT7. So what I'll do I'll just show you what's included on the dashboard and very quickly how you can install it into SimHub. So following on from my previous SimHub video I thought I'd show you the sim dashboard that I've put together for Gran Turismo 7. So I found that the one that comes out of the box uh, that I was using, which was the, the Bosch dashboard, a lot of the elements uh, didn't function. So I thought I'd rework one of the existing overlays and tailor make it for all of the telemetry data that's available currently in GT7. So what I've added, I've um, added the tire temperatures, which come from the telemetry data. And then based on a formula, I've got the background to change color according to the values. So how I've got it configured is if it's less than 70 degrees, it'll be blue. If it's between 70 and 90, it'll be green. If it's over 90, when less than 100, it'll be orange. And if it's over 100, it'll be red. So those are just arbitrary figures that I've put into the formula for the background. You can tweak these if you want to in Dash Studio, uh, but those are the ones that I've set up. Also for the fuel, this uh, works as well. And normally this would be green uh, if it's over 30%. If it's under 30% and above 15%, it'll be amber. And if it's under 15%, it'll be red. So we'll see the uh, cars getting refueled here so it'll go up and change color accordingly and um, the other things it has included is the current lap and the total number of laps the best lap time the last lap time uh, the rev counter gear shift indicator at the top and the boost indicator i've added the current speed in miles per hour and the maximum speed for that session the green bar here is the accelerator, the red's the brake, uh, the current gear, the RPM, the oil temperature that always seems to stay at 110. And I think that's about everything that's on here. So it would be nice if we had the grid position, but that doesn't seem to be in the telemetry data currently, nor do the opponent cars, which I hope does come to the game at some point. So in terms of installation, it's really simple. You just need to navigate to the C program files x86 simhub dash templates directory and extract the GT7 dashboard folder into this dash templates directory. Restart simhub and then it should be available in the uh, GUI under dashboards. So if you want to download a copy of this GT7 dashboard, I'll leave links in the description below so you can download it. Also put a copy of it on the community discord. So if you want to race with us on Fridays, that's where I'll be arranging get togethers and taking requests for tracks. So every Friday from 9 PM BST, I'll be hosting multiplayer open lobbies for other people that want to race on GT seven. All right, that's it from the video. I hope you found it useful until next time. Bye for now.